morning. Happy Saturday. And today I had an interesting, weird thought, and I just wanted to share it with you. And I think it might be kind of fun or terrifying if you think about it. What if we all had these screens over our heads? Maybe sometime in the future, some weird person will figure out a way to type out what's in our head. And, they, and the intention would be so people could understand what we're talking about. Good morning, Mark. How are you? I haven't seen you in ages. Anyway, the intention would be for people to understand what we're talking about. But what really happens is our self-talk is broadcast on it because every thought in our head gets printed. Now, imagine if you were walking around and the world could read what you say to yourself. How would you feel about that? Would you feel embarrassed? Would you feel shame? Would you feel happy, proud because you're so, hi, Diana, because you're so pleased with how you are speaking to yourself? So think, let's think about that. Let's just imagine some scenarios. Say I'm walking along through Walmart and I think something nasty about a person walking past. And I think that this person is like, oh gosh, she's so fat. I would never be that fat. And that's printed on a, on a, on a board above your head. <laughs> How would that feel? How would that feel? Or um, if it keeps the stuff up, the last thing you said to yourself. So while you're driving along in the car to go to the store, you said things like, oh my God, I am never going to make it. I just hate myself so much. And this world is just such a pain in the yogurt. You know, what if it typed all that out? Well, guess what? It is being typed out. It's being typed out in energy inside your body because every thought has a vibration. It has uh, an emotion. It'll trigger an emotion that has a vibration. And, and in, what you're doing is you're, you're bathing yourself in this soup of these vibrations. So not only are you hurting yourself and you're sitting in judgment of others? Imagine the shame of feeling the knowingness that other people know you do this to yourself. So here's my question for you. Is it possible to change? Is it possible for you to notice without this big broadcast screen above you? Is it possible for you to just take a moment and notice that you're creating this vibration around you? Hi, Jeannie. So what would you do if you were creating this vibration around you and you had the ability to stop it? Well, the first thing you do to stop it was, would be to just say, oh, this is not who I am. This is not who I want to show up in the world. This is not how P I want people to see me. This is why having the screen above our heads, typing out our every thought would be so shaming. So embarrassing because that's not part of our mask. It's not how we want to present to the world. So if it's not how we want to present ourselves to the world, why, oh, why do we want to present ourselves to ourselves in this way? How is it helping? Is it helping you get where you want to go? Is it helping you feel like doing things? Because we only know what we're telling ourselves. That's what we do. We go through our life and we tell ourselves and we get drenched in this beautiful soup of information that we're telling ourselves. But if we constantly tell ourselves that what we see, what we do, what we know is shite, then we're showing up as shite. Even though our mask can say, ah, oh, so beautiful. I'm a helpful, loving person and I would love to help you sell yourself to someone. No, people. So. Imagine if there was a billboard above your head, typing out and showing the world your every thought. What would you write on that board every single day? Go out and make it a fabulous day. Bye.